Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is Brother Thomas with you. This is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, a look at this is one. And in this case, there is one in particular. In Ephesians chapter 4, starting at verse 1, we read an interesting, we read an interesting text. Let's share what is here and then we'll talk about it. All right, praise the Lord. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all, Praise God. There is a unity between God and his body through Christ Jesus, the head of the body, we the body. There is a unity of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that unites us as one body. Yes. He says, as a, I beseech you, please, to walk worthy of the vocation when you call. A little bit later on in this text, he speaks of that it's been given to some to apostles and some prophets and some uh, evangelists and uh, teachers and preachers. And so to walk worthy of whatever the vocation is to which we have been called. All right. How? With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. This is the way it's supposed to be. This is the way it's supposed to be. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit, capital S, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Christ, who dwells in us, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond, the bond of peace. Ah, yeah, there is a unity and a bond, a unity and a bond. Because there is one body and one spirit, capital S, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. All one, even in hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Not many, aren't many lords. There's one Lord. One Lord. One faith. Only one saving faith. By grace through faith in Jesus Christ. We are saved. That faith. Hebrews 11, one faith. The 
faith of Christ, his very own faith he gives to us. For it is the faith of Christ. The faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. What well, baptism? Find it interesting. How many ways that baptism has been interesting. There's one. One God and Father of all. There's only one God and Father. And it's God and Father. For he is God, almighty God, creator of heaven and earth. He is almighty God to, the, to, to all, whether you believe in him or not. Whether you're saved by grace and faith in Jesus Christ or not, God is almighty God. And to those of us who know him personally through a relationship with Jesus Christ, he is our Father. Abba, Father. Daddy, dear Daddy. So one God and Father of all. Who is above all. And through all and in you all for the believer there is one God and Father of us all one God and Father of us all he is above all no man, no person, no thing, nothing in heaven and earth is above God. God is above all. Supreme. One God. Above all. And through all and in you all. It's through us. He is revealed through us. And he is in us. He works through us. Reveals himself through us. And lives within us. How glorious a truth that really is. What a glorious unity we have. God, our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ, and the work of the Spirit who dwells within us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. God is with us. He is in us. For his Spirit has taken up permanent residence in us. We are now the temple of God, a building, a body, fit together arms and legs and hands and feet, all doing what they are called to do. Apostles and prophets and preachers and teachers and evangelists. All arms and legs and hands working together, fingers and toes, working together in the spirit of unity and the bond of peace. This is the picture of the body of Christ. Of whom Christ is the head. Jesus Christ is the head of our body. We are fingers, and toes, and arms, and legs. Christ is the head. God is above all. This is the spirit of unity and the bond of peace. This is the body of Christ. Okay. Okay. Think about that one. How powerful.
powerful and true. May God richly bless you. In Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen.